Hi, today I'm going to show you how to design these pop-up words in Illustrator. Actually, I don't know what's the name of this type of words. Okay, let's begin. First, I'm going to select the ellipse tool, draw a circle. Then, I'm going to select the knife tool. If you can't find it, um, check the erase tool. They are in the same section. In knife tool, split this circle. Now you can see this circle already be separated. Type the words what you want. Now you can see I'm typing my name here and choose the white color. Make sure you can see it clearly. Here the font. I choose the Open Sense Extra Board. Because I think um, extra board is more eye-catching. Well, I'm jack words to the same position where circle is. And select the word and the piece of circle. Um, find the object, envelope distort, and make with the top. Here, I'm always forgot to bring the circle to front, so don't forget it. I'm going to do it again as envelope distort and then make with top. Here, if you don't like it, you can double click, enter the layer and uh, adjust uh, a little bit. There is a shortcut, hold the command out and see. It's the same function as the um, envelope distort make with the top object. Now I'm going to select all and find the object. Um, expand, fill and uh, click OK. Press Command and G, um, group it. Also, you can right click or find the group. Command C and Command B, copy and paste it in the same position. I duplicate twice. Select one path and make it smaller. Uh, send it to the back. Don't forget to pick a dark color or gray. Now hold the Command. Select two paths. Let's find the object and blend and make. You can see the shortcut is command or control out and B. Here in sidebar, double click blend tool, change to the specific steps. Mine is 80, I think more than 40 is better. And now we still have one path left. Uh, this one is for highlight. Um, bring it to front and uh, change the color more bright, more lighter, and change the opacity. Mm, I'm going to give it a temporary color mm, that you can see it clearly. I already have a lot of color gradients, so I just uh, mm, copy them. Now let's find the middle path. Mm, double click it and uh, enter the layer um, choose a color what you like here the shortcut of pick color is I now I'm trying different color find the one I like it so which one you like it after done with color um, back to the normal layer and Find the highlight and change the color of highlight, uh, white or something lighter, um, change the opacity. Now oh, I'm almost finished, I'm going to change a background. In Photoshop I already designed a background so I just move it to here and you can see it here. It is easy right? If you have any question, let me know, uh, leave a comment, uh, I'd like to help you. And if you like this video, um, click like and uh, subscribe me, I will keep updating new video. Thanks!